Hey there, welcome. It's Shereen. Welcome back. Another Adobe tutorial. This time we're back in InDesign. There's been a little bit of a change in terms of how InDesign handles um, video and multimedia. So, and also we can, uh, you know, include GIF in that or GIF. Um, and so let me just give you a quick tip on sort of how to, how to work that through. Instead of being able to um, manage all your video uh, options in InDesign, we're going to do a quick jump into Acrobat to get everything all set up there. So let me just take you through that process. Um, basically, we're going to go ahead, as we do with all content, bringing it into InDesign. We choose our media by doing file place to bring it into uh, InDesign, which is a container, right, for our content. So uh, as you can see, my, my cursor now has this um, placeholder, so it's just showing me sort of, you know, where do I want to place this image? Let's say, for example, right there, sort of there. I can kind of set it. So this is a, a video of me doing um, uh, a demo, figure drawing demo. So I've got this video here. If I want to get a sense of preview, just make sure it's looking good. I can come under Window, Interactive uh, Media. I'm going to get that um, uh, panel, and I'm going to be able oh, to do um, a preview. I'm so excited. I'm right, so I can kind of decide where I want it to be. I can decide sort of also to which frame I want to use. Maybe I choose to use that as my uh, keyframe so that when it opens up, that's the frame that's evident. I can choose to play it as soon as it loads on the page, but the problem is in uh, Acrobat, it's no longer supporting Flash, so once I start playing, I won't be able to stop playing it. So I'll have to make sure I get some setup on that side all working first before I um, make the final decision. So it's just enough in InDesign, place your video, file place, you can choose your uh, media panel under Window Interactive. You can also choose under here to choose your interactive for PDF settings, and then media is one of the panels that'll pop up. So yeah, it'll set up the um, it'll set up the different panels that we use when working with interactive media. So that's a choice as well. Okay, so I've got my media set up. I've chosen the frame that I want it to um, land on. All I have to do now is go under File Export. The most important thing is you have two choices. This is something that trips people up. They'll just go ahead and see PDF and select OK. We're not going to print media. We're going to an interactive PDF because it's got this media that we want to play video, which is not something we can print. So it has to be for interactive. So I'm going to call this one um, Video InDesign um, PDF Demo. And I'm just going to send it right now locally to my desktop. So the settings I just need to look for here, make sure that all media are included, so include all media. And my um, my option, I love to just go ahead and say, go ahead and view it after exporting because it opens up um, in PDF right away. So I just save a step there. You can also do embed page thumbnails. It makes it easier when you're viewing and managing your files. Okay, so now here I am in PDF. I'm gonna go ahead and center this. So again, if I click, you're gonna see, it's gonna say click to activate. If you click, you will not be able to start. There's no start button, there's no stop button. So I would say do not, whatever you do, click to activate because once you do, the only way to get it to stop is to just shut down and close the whole um, file and start over again. But instead, we're gonna to go to tools. Here's where we're gonna go rich media. It's got the icon that looks like a little video. Select object. When we right click, after we select the object, this is the object right click here's where we get to properties now we can make the whole thing work the way we want yes okay trust well we can do that later so here's where we want basically what i want to do is just set up my controls and say yes set up skin for controls if you want you can also set this up for launch settings to say enable it when the content is clicked which is what it was default right it wanted me to just start clicking so we could play the video disable um, you can say, you know, when from the context menu. And then what's that menu? It's this one. Under control, say yes, we need the controls. And now you'll see what I'm talking about. When we say okay, we can close this all out. Say yes, trust this document. It's okay. When we close out of everything, we come back. As soon as we're going to click now to activate, so, um, this so is the control so we need. So actually, let me start again. I so that's it. Once we start the video, now we have a control to set. And that's the whole walkthrough. That's it. Once you save this video, it's going to have um, the control. This is called the skin. Uh, you can fast forward. You can increase uh, volume, all that from here. Okay, so that's it. It's going to say we're not going to be using Flash Player. Do you understand? Yes. Talk to me about it later. That's why we're doing this in two phases. You import the video and place it into InDesign, export as an interactive PDF. When you get into Acrobat, that's when you go under Tools, Rich Media, get yourself those controls so that you'll be able to work and enjoy your video. All right, hope that helped. Okay, see you next time.